Also, before we move back to the particles, um, it's important to note that this sphere here is still showing up here, which it shouldn't. I thought we took care of that earlier, but maybe not. <coughs> Go to Object Properties and make sure that Renderable is not checked. And that will not show up in the render. Alright, see now the, um, the sphere is gone. Also, um, you know what we forgot to do is put in a light, and I'll do that now. Standard, I will put in a... Yeah, we'll just go regular Omni. Make sure it's a ray trace. Drop it in the top viewport here. And we'll pull it up. Make sure to enable your um your uh, mental ray, light shader, ambient reflective, occlusion, and let's uncheck that so we can render one without it. So that's what we have for the before, and we'll check it now, and we'll try for the after. Alright, good. It's worked out perfectly. We see how the shadow fall off is now a lot smoother than it was on this one, and that's what we're looking for. So, um, before we get into the particles, what I would do is I would render what they call a beauty pass for this shot right here. I'd run a rendering all the way out from beginning to end. And then I will, uh, I'll work from there. I would render out other passes afterwards, you know, atmosphere, uh, shadows, whatever you planned on doing, however you felt like compositing. But that's how you'd work it. So let's get back into the particles. So we have that. And uh, I'm just going to show you briefly what you could do. I'm not really going to get into a lot of detail with it. Because I've done so many, you know, uh, smoke effects already. Um, as pertaining to Afterburn, at least. So I find a good spot, something like this. And um, I would hit 8 on my keyboard to bring up my atmosphere again. And I will add an afterburn. And if we did every show, it would be very important to label each event. This one, we didn't do that because we only did one show as an example. So you click on your little hand, obviously. I hit H on the keyboard to bring up, you know, a selector. So that's selected now. Um, and again, Afterburn is not going to work in Mental Ray. So you would have to do it in passes, for example, um, you would have to turn off Mental Ray and render out the Afterburn Pass. And we can just go ahead and turn off Mental Ray now. Go back to the scan line. So, um, 
this is what we get right now. We have, you know, obviously all the tweaking to do still. We haven't done any. I'm going to save. I want to enable that. Let's say thirty. Density from will enable it from let's say point one to zero. We have to enable this to thirty twenty seven. Well, and we'll re-render. That's our result so far. I'm just gonna uh, age the particle size a little bit faster. so frustrating because Camtasia finally I got one Christ change that to Bezier and I will render again um, also I forgot what we should do is since we changed the uh, how fast our spheres, our afterburn spheres are gonna grow, we will take our we'll right click this and we'll copy, and we should drop it into the noise also, just so it's equal. So if we look at the noise now; it has the same exact parameters. And density, I ah, will also do with the density, paste, and again, re-render. <laughs> 